Okay guys, I am back. Thank you for waiting. So I just need to get some more water, use the bathroom. We're ready to go again. Okay, let's examine this uh, decapitated head. That is in our inventory. No eyes. I could not make heads or tails of this uh, animal head gate uh, in the cat lady. It's just a creepy mask. It's a mask? No, it's not. It's clearly, it, what? No! <laughs> it's a mask that was made out of an actual pig head! Oh, no. Uh, well, let's try putting it on and entering. Nope. Hey. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't try to open it again. Alright! Are you splitting the video? Uh... Yes, I will split the video. I will split the video. Um, I'm not going to break the stream, though. So what you're watching right now will be in a second video. I'll just split it. Why am I so close up on her now? Oh, dear. Oh, shit's on fire. Do you think these uh, crosses are supposed to be symbolic of graves or death? It's uh, definitely very unsettling. Let's use it to talk to the creep. Maybe he'll see us, see us as one of him. I don't think we're part of the world right now, to be honest. Like, look, we we just. <coughs> This is some, uh, this is some otherworldly stuff going on. In fact, uh, um, it, at least it was in The Cat Lady as well. So for those of you have, who haven't watched it, The Cat Lady, um, the main female protagonist of that game experienced a very, very similar environment after she committed suicide. So, and it was very, very similar to this, with grass, with the grass fields, with the gate, with the, uh, the animal heads on it. I think there was a part where there was a giant cross and she saw her own dead body nailed to it. It was like, super... Uh, I don't know. Oh! Oh, blah! Blah, you're a genius! That's what you meant, isn't it? Use the mask to talk to the creep. Maybe he'll see us as one of him. Did you mean the uh, the creep on the other side of the door? The the monster eye that we saw? That's, uh... That's brilliant. Watch. Perfect. Oh, Blah, you're a genius! Whoa, is it empty? Is it empty now? It looks like it's empty now, guys. I did not unplug it. It was full when we first spawned here. Oh, water. Okay, let's uh He's still love jumping in the puddles of He's still love jumping in the puddles of You know, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just have to see. Not until I really have to. <laughs> okay. Alright, so apparently we are going to need to do that. I actually just meant because that dude's a pig, but I won't object to my ideas being works of genius. <laughs> Shh, blah. Graciously accept. <laughs> oh. We're back in the house, but but again, I don't think this is really in the house. This is like an alternate, alternate, alternate nightmare dimension of her house. For one, it's nice and clean. Holy shit!
So this has gotten very weird. It still seems to be a kind of reflection of her original room. <clears throat> There's a nice sofa here now, like a nice uh, leather sofa, maybe. A nice leather sofa from the uh, crappy one that she had before. There's um, a white dress hanging up in front of her mirror as opposed to it was a black one with a red stripe. Um, the mannequin head that was holding her um, headphones is up there, but it's missing half of its face. Oh, and uh, I almost missed it, but there's a decapitated mother's, like our, our mother's decapitated body sitting in our chair. So that's just phenomenal. It looks like me. Oh. But I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? Well, I don't know if we can say it's a dream now. Okay, so I guess it... <laughs> she would know that it uh, looks like her own body. I think I'll leave it where it is. Okay. You, you do There's you. a huge hole in the wall. I can see the living room on the other side. The chick in the chair looks like she got a bit ahead of herself. Thank you, Ark. Oh, we got another one from Guy. She seems lightheaded. Awesome. Any more? Actually, just my best genius is accidental genius. Okay. No, no more head puns. There's a huge Darn hole it. in the wall. All right, let's go through there. So this is supposed to be... Oh, the hallway. Baby carriage. Actually, I don't want to go in here yet. I want to check the mother's room. I want to check the mother's room and I want to check the kitchen because most likely that's not our destinations and won't progress the story, so I won't miss out on anything. I still can't believe she let that evil man into our lives. Well, um, to be fair, he probably wasn't that evil. Oh, when they first met. Again, what was once a very disastrous room is now very clean. There's a lump in the bed under the sheets. The crib is empty. Flowers are still here, but there's n there's uh, bricks in outside of the wall, or outside of the window. It's empty. I promised I'd keep you safe. Yeah, and you went you got went and got yourself killed, didn't you? Mom? Oh, it's not gonna be mom. It's not gonna be mom. It's gonna be something horrible. Oh. So there's either two decapitated bodies around here. This is not real. None of it can be real. Oh, thank you. Oh, the chat has delivered. Stay calm. This is no time to lose your head. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now we can fix the body. Yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe she's holding it. That's pretty disgusting. Okay, let's check the kitchen. Oh, there's her mother's body. I was right. There's two decapitated heads around here. All there is in this kitchen are cans and bottles. Alcoholism. Hmm. God. Well, this is her mom's body. So we better put it back. It's saving. It's our old fridge. Now maybe my head's gonna be in here. Well. It's me. But I'm still here! Uh, the eyes on the mom were blacked out, and the eyes on Lorelei's head are not. Okay. I probably won't progress the story until I... I don't want to get too far away while I'm holding this head. Oh gosh, what a thing to say! Kindy? 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 Well, it's not a horse, that means the mob didn't do it. Nice. Okay, what's in the living room? Is that another head? Oh, that's not Zack, is it? Please don't be Zack. Is this... John? I hope it's John. Oh my gosh, look! The picture frame. There's two headless bodies, a little girl and a man. And then... 
a woman. So is that supposed to be the dad who is dead, and the little girl who was Lorelai who is now dead, and then the mom that survived? I want... I want to take that. Maybe this key would open the gate in the field. Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. Oh, it... You might be right, Ark. The head is back on her because we already put the head back on the body. Alright, very well then. Because they were all dead, right? Mom. The mom is gone. Wow, long loading screen. Lo screen. I'm a little worried. Loading screen. What have you done? Uh Oh shit. Wait for program. Wait for program to respond. That's okay. I think the game crashed, but Okay. Give it just a second. Game crashed, so Let's just restart it. This should be it. Oh. Here it is. Okay, and we're back. It's saved with the mom's head, so that, yeah, I, I did notice that it was auto-saving quite frequently, so. Beautiful main menu. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right. Sound effects getting me all <laughs> raising the hairs on my arms. So this is us. Are we covered in blood or are we naked? Oh boy. Alright, John doesn't get his head back. Oops. Oh yeah, there you go, Ark, you're a genius. Okay, now we need something to take this out of his hand. I think we might have to do a little bit more exploring, because the only thing we have right now is my hair dryer. Oh my goodness. No, she's wearing she's wearing a little slip of something. You can see that that's not a... Uh, there's some shadow on the little trails of fabric that are on her leg, so that you can tell it's not blood. All the picture frames are empty now! The mirror has no reflection! Was there nothing else in here? I promised I'd keep you safe. Have you checked? Because... <laughs> That would be a very fitting place to find John's head. Okay, well... Let's look for something... Out here. Whoa! 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 Oh, this is different! Ah! So, so much redness! I could plug something in. Plug this? In here. Not until I really have to. I think I need to find something to, ch to like saw his hand off. So we are a vampire. So 
So when uh, Susan was in this field, lots of times when she traveled back and forth across the screen, it would be a different place she returned to. It wasn't uh, consistent or continuous. Okay. So that's why I went back to try to check these. Now everything is red now. All of the all of the pretty green, fresh green grass has lost all of its stuff. What is the pig head? You have is how she sees him. That sounds like a pretty solid idea. Cause we even called him a pig. We called him a pig. So I don't know if you missed it, Ark. Um, I don't think you did, but there was a part where he was totally perving on her. I don't know if you were here yet. I think you might have been. I don't. Someone could slip on this wet floor. He was totally perving on her, and we and I decided to call him a pig. It was one of the options. Oh gosh. Sound effects are just really creepy. Seems fitting. Huzzah! Oh, there he is. He's got a pig head. Perfect. Now I should be able to... Uh, no? No? Really? Really? <laughs> oh! God. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> He's still here! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's no way. Oh, my gosh. There's no way that my... Neighbors didn't hear that. Ah! Oh god, no! Oh shit. Okay, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Oh my god. Yes! Keep running! horrifying. Oh my god, it scared me so bad. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. So look, the mom's head is on there, the pig's head is on there, I think Lorelai's head is on there, John's head is on there, just underneath the pig's head. Oh my god. Yeah, stomp on its head, I want to hear that squish. I hope I didn't get a knock on my door right now. Somebody like, is everything okay in there? When I get silent sometimes in scary situations, it's because I'm like forcing my mouth and teeth closed. That way I don't scream if anything else scares me. Man, that's gonna give me nightmares. I know it. Oh god, that was bad. Good thing I'm not gonna have to like look through any of this. Uh, I'm not gonna have to play any of this back for myself if I'm just cutting the video, so I won't have to rewatch it because that was bloody horrifying. Okay. I don't even think I was really looking at it. Like I was just running. <sighs> Look what we have here. Does anybody recognize this? It's a little bit different. It doesn't have a porch. This is the cabin for somebody that um, we should all know. Oh, what's this? I would feel better <laughs> if I had the fork. Dear Lorelei. 
Sadly, I couldn't be here tonight to welcome you. But please, make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Okay. Could this be my shelter in this strange world? <clears throat> We're going to meet her soon, yes. No, not Beyonce arc. This is all very familiar, so. What a lonely seashore. That's odd. It feels wet. Two candles and one is out. Three candles, technically. And to her light. <clears throat> I don't know if I should. These flames seem so fragile. Don't all small little flickers of light. All right. The, well, the last time we saw the Queen of Maggots, she was trying to get us to drink a bowl of blood. So we're gonna tread a little cautiously here. Holy shit! Will you look at that above the mantelpiece? Mantle above the mantel. Do it again. Fire. Fire. There. There. Mannequins. It almost makes this place look like home. Does it? What's wrong with you? There, there's literally a tapestry of skulls right there. It's burning nicely. Mm, yeah, that is kind of nice. But, you know, all of the many skulls in the background kind of, you know, ruins it for me. Stairs, okay. Well, this actually isn't too bad. We have a kitchen here. Now this looks like a nice cozy kitchen, actually. Well, maybe not with like the roots coming in through the through the roof, but last huh. room upstairs. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't want to go poking around in the other room. That would be a very poorly man- I would be a very poorly mannered guest. Alright, so the first one is a woman who looks to be looking into a mirror in front of a moon. This is people with skull masks on, or skull heads, dancing under the moonlight. And this one is uh, like a woman with no head, kind of, just an empty space there. So is it this one? Or was it this one? She said last There's room. There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. Let's try it. Locked. All right. I guess we are a poorly mannered guest then, trying to snoop inside doors that aren't allocated to us. Okay. Whoa, that mannequin moved. That mannequin moved! Oh, I'm watching it. Oh. Looks comfy enough. But it's gonna be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. Yeah, I cannot stand... Oh shit, more of them are moving. There's like some in the background and on the right that are moving too. Uh, I cannot stand anything human-shaped image like human shaped at all the shadow of it nothing in my room when i'm sleeping if i see like the 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 shadow of one or the silhouette of it's something that looks human my whole life all my hopes and dreams dead i still remember how alive i felt this morning when i stood in front of that house so out of breath from trying to get there on time I was that new girl, starting a new life. So my hypothesis for where she's at right now for the other two games was uh, like either a hell or a limbo or something like that. Some place where 
maybe the dead go, or maybe... Hmm. You must see the new girl. You're late. Some place where the I'm deeply sorry. mentally and emotionally disturbed go. And then there was this horrible dog and... Excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. It's bad enough that we're short of staff and you haven't had your training yet. I'm a fast learner. Well, we'll see if that's true. Hmm. You need a uniform. Purgatory, yes, exactly. You can't walk right. around here dressed like this. Okay. Something. Go like upstairs. That. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. Okay, so take a look at the picture above the door. That looks. I can't even doubt that that is the mansion or the inn, rather, from the last game, Downfall. Uh, in one of the endings, like, you, you see it. That's like the last image that you see of the house is like from the outside of it. And it looked just like that. I think that's a little head nod to Downfall. It's for staff and visitors, I think. I don't need anything from there. Well, you could hang your coat, like a civilized person. This is the main staircase leading to second floor. Well, I meant to look at the mirror, but... Ugh, Hoover! Is that what they call their vacuum cleaners? Or are they specifically calling it a Hoover I brand? I have to use it. It probably takes hours to Hoover this place. Nobody's told me to Hoover. And I really hope they don't. It looks shabby. Probably been used a lot. I can walk just fine on my own. <laughs> Alright then, don't get so indignant. Alma. Some very old people. There it is again. Oh wait, no, I'm still in the same hallway. <laughs> very old looking paintings. I was meant to go upstairs though. But I'm just gonna have a quick look around downstairs to... To see what's going on. Alma lives here. Well, let's not go poking in on residents just yet. Oh. Huh? Get changed! Didn't I tell you to get your uniform? Upstairs? Yes. In the laundry? Yes. Um, sorry. I got a little lost. On my way now. She's gonna be a joy of I a boss. I can see the main entrance from here. Well, uh, what's go what we've done now, Madman, is, um, gone back to, like, the, f the, this is the, f the flashback to her first day of work. So this is a flashback to, like, from before when the game started. So the game started when she came home from her first day of work. And, uh, and now this is like a flashback to that day of work. Because she said that it was... I can see the main entrance from here. She said that, you know, she had a crazy day at the very beginning of the game. She said she had a crazy day. She had to, um, bathe a, uh, bathe a a naked lady or something. That's corridor. I can't read what that says. Sheila. Sheila. Oh my goodness, Sheila from the from the cat lady. Sheila is um the name of one of the psych ward residents' mothers. And it's important <clears throat> because we have to there's a psych ward patient and uh we have to guess what her mom's name is and she's she's pretty out of it. And so we go on all kinds of drug trips and we finally find out that her mother's name was Sheila. And we tell her it was Sheila. And, um, okay, so it must be this one. Irene. It must be this one. Corridor. Yep, laundry room. Very nice. Oh, so this is before all the bad stuff happened. Yes! Yep, this is before she came home and saw that her mom had a new bruise on her face. Um, before any of that happened. Excuse me. <gasps> oh my goodness. She's a little jumpy, isn't she? Oh, bloody hell. Sorry. You nearly gave me a heart attack. She's got pink and blue <laughs> in her hair. Oh, silly me. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, it's not your fault. I scare way too easily. 
I'm just silly like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura. But everyone calls me Lorelei. That's pretty. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. And you. Wait, her name is only Laura? But people call her Lorelei? Shouldn't... I was expecting it to be the other way. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. Have you been working here long, Maria? I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. Have you been working here long, Maria? Let's make some nice well, chit-chat. Well, it will be three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad. <laughs> nah, it's alright. It's a job. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. That would be me. I've never had a job before. That would not but be But I really want to do well. That would be you me. Know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. I'll look after you. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there, on the shelf, waiting for you. The blue one? Yep, same as mine. You'll get a couple more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. Right. Let's get changed, then. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Oh, one more thing, Lorelei. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and, like, really bad manners. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So, just keep smiling and she'll be alright eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelai. Ah, she seems really sweet. I would be very lucky to have a co-worker like that starting a new job. I think everyone, everyone would be, have a really good experience if they had a co-worker like that. She reminds me a lot of the nurse in The Cat Lady, who is uh, Susan's nurse when she's in the psych ward, psych hospital. It's for hand washing mostly, I think. Well, let's wash our hands make sure they're nice and clean because we're going to be... Yes. <laughs> Touching a lot of people. Big bum with twisted knickers. Got it. <laughs> she, yeah, she reminds me of... Uh... I should put on this uniform oh, shoot. before I That's leave. That's right. Okay, let's do that. Yes. Smells brand new. I worked in a convalescent home. I wasn't employed there, but I worked there for uh, a few weeks when I was... Uh, going to school for uh, medical in the medical field and uh, I had to do some hours working in a convalescent home with uh, a lot of elderly people unable to care for themselves um, helping with feeding helping with changing them bathing it's not a great job uh, where now? downstairs? yeah she does have a great attitude uh, she also kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, entrance. what was her name? Agnes! Agnes in Downfall. Agnes. She was amazing. I love that woman. She looks so cute with her, like, long socks on with the stripes. And, to be honest, what my experience working in a convalescent home is just like assisting. Oh, you shit. took your time, didn't you? I'll tell you a sec. Are you always late for everything? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I should really hope so. This is a serious institution. 
There's no room here for slackers. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. Nice we must bar. ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us, and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because you were late. There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Some can be aggressive. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you, and... Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. But... You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha, then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours, too. Really? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. I'm sure you can manage. Is she the one who's going to foretell our murder? You're coming, Nisha. So I guess you're stuck with me now. Why did you choose to work with me? Did Mr. B really ask you to be my mentor? Uh, well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. Uh, sounds like a good opener. Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. You did the right thing playing it low earlier. Just smile, say sorry, and go on about your business like nothing happened. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. Uh, Let's go with the third one, actually. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Well, nah, sure. Give us some... Did Mr. Context. B really ask you to mentor me? No. Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. That's between me and you, yeah? Why did you choose to work with me? Oh, you know, I like to punish myself. No, really. That was nice what you did. No offense to Nisha. But I think I'll enjoy shadowing you more. Of course you will, because I'm the best. She is the best. You might well be, but your days are numbered. Just wait and see. The new girl will climb right to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Then you'll have to work with Zoe every day. Oh, Lord. Huh? Why? She likes to work with the best ones, so they do everything for her. Oh. So... What do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. Great, more of that. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. You probably went past it earlier. Fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know, boring. But you'll be getting your fire training every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. 
And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh. It's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll start with Marjorie. She's a nice lady. Follow me. Good. Start me off with the easy ones. Hmm. Dorothy Marjorie. It says Marjorie on the door. Hello, my darling. Oh, she's so sweet. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelai with us today. That lady she's does a not give a young shit. Lady. <laughs> she's helping us today. Hello. Hello. No, Marjorie does not care. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Yeah, look at that picture Lovely above the flowers. bed. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's not great. It was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. Why is this carpet so badly stained? Well, some stains just never come off. This one here is blood from when Marjorie tried to get up on her own a few months back. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The other ones are mostly toileting accidents. It's just one of those things. You'll get used to it after a while. Okay, what now? Now, we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Prepared Please, for the day. Uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. The brown one... You know. Huh. Yeah, I love this girl too. I, what is her name again? Maria. Yeah, she can be my new best friend. Although... They look kind of crunchy probably because they're just dried out uh she can be my new best friend although my last best friend who was super awesome and incredibly sweet yeah he was a great guy but uh maybe best friends have a little bit of now fill up the sink with hot water um, dangerous situations they're gonna be in i think i want to i want to walk over and talk to marjorie i can't why she hasn't even got a toothbrush. Yeah. She doesn't need one. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelei. <laughs> Done. Marjorie, my darling. Oh, it's she time blinked. For a wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. Brown for the arse, yeah. <laughs> That's about the... Shall we get some clothes for Marjorie? Oh, we can do that in a That's minute. That's the idea. So still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. That chicken tender sub you eat earlier had me... <laughs> oh my gosh. That sucks. Where, well, where'd you get it from? Chicken tender sub. And now we just need to get that nightie off. It felt... wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. They should have known better. Anyway, shall we? Yeah. So still. Marjorie, could you lift up your arms for us, please? 
great. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. It's up to you. Oh, let's go ahead and give it a try. I think we can handle it. Uh, it's not very pleasant. I'll do it. It is difficult. Okay. It, it's difficult because Brilliant. they pretty much don't do anything for themselves. Uh, lift or raise or... Um, they don't... They can sometimes not understand commands. Okay. Uh, oh, we don't have the wash it. I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. Uh, maybe want to check those sheets since they only put a small pad on her. And pretend it doesn't smell of wee. Yeah, there Am you go. Am I doing it right, Maria? Yeah. You know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty, full of life. At 17, she fell in love with George. And they were married for 50 years. Can you imagine? 50. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. Aww. But George. Wow, look at her. Bless his soul. Was a, a picture. kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. God, it broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. The city on fire. That's crazy. be traumatizing, you know? Right, Ark? She didn't even check the sheets. Yeah, can you imagine? Like, you're, you're in your home and you don't know if you're safe. Oh, gosh. And, like, you oh don't know God. where to run because you I don't know off. where you're safe. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Marjorie. Finished. There you go. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Yep. Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. Do, 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 do. Marjorie's clothes are kept in there. Something I like? Uh, oh, let's give her this one. Yeah, this one looks good. This one looks like an old lady. Uh, it's fashionable. Well. The cardi and skirt combination never gets old, I guess. Ah. Wait, Lorelai. I'll help you with this. <gasps> Marjorie. You look absolutely beautiful. Let's take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. What's really sad is... All right, we've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie, where we've just been. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. Uh, yeah, let me make a couple of comments before we move on to the next resident. Um... So what she was talking about, saying that, um, uh, what's her name? That resident that we were just with used to be young, just like us, and used to be, uh, like, full of life and everything. That's, um, that's something that you think about when you, um, work with the elderly in, uh, convalescent homes or assisted living things like that. And for that reason, I found it really depressing to work there. Um, 
I I didn't feel like it was a good environment for you for me. I I did I did like the people there. It's not that I minded it. It's just uh it's a very strong like realization. It, it's like looking through a window to what you are probably going to be in you know decades later when you're their age. And I think I had decided that I kind of didn't want to know any of that. I didn't want to know what was in store. Um, and the, the, Marjorie, thank you. Um, I can't, I can't tell which one was worse. Probably, probably this part was worse is that there are no people like Maria that I've ever really encountered in facilities. Uh, whether hospitals or assisted living or convalescent homes, there's no people like her. So none of that really happens. You know how great Maria is and how sweet Lorelai is talking to her while they're getting bathed and picking out their outfits with care. None of that happens. It's, uh, I mean, if you're, if your client or if your client, your patient is like that, most of the time, people are just very, very quiet, don't talk to them at all. And I saw a lot of uh, CNAs and nurses in those facilities just not even really treating them as alive or human anymore. And that was extremely depressing. Uh, I didn't like that at all. That was one of the big reasons I got uh, out of healthcare in, in general was because in hospitals, in ERs, in these facilities, there's just not enough care and compassion and empathy. And um, I w it made me really sick. It made me see behind the curtain of hospitals and, and the healthcare industry in total. And uh, you think you think that you go to a place like this and you're going to be taken care of and you think you'll be treated a certain way. But the thing is, is a lot of people don't care. A lot of these people who are supposed they that's their job. They're supposed to care for you and treat you like you are human and that you have, have needs and you expect that they'll treat you the way that they would want to be treated if they were in your situation. But they don't. Like, remember, remember that little alarm thing that she talked about that's right behind Maria on the wall, the, the alert system, right? Where they, it sets off a little buzzer or alarm or uh, bell or whatever if they need help? Those go ignored. I'm not even kidding. They go completely ignored. And when I was doing my clinical hours inside the convalescent home, I was running around constantly answering those lights on the door telling you which people have called for help because they just got completely ignored and it was really sad. Um, kind of, sorry this is taking a little bit of time away from the game, but I kind of had a very, um, I guess, a, a very unique experience in the convalescent home where I met an elderly man who was very difficult for the nurses. He was a jerk. He was uncooperative. But, um, I was probably mm, 21. And, um, anyway, he was very, he, he wouldn't eat. And, uh, they wouldn't try to make him eat either. They, they didn't even really try. They would put food in front of him, and if he didn't eat it, well, they just took it away and they'd try again tomorrow. But, um, this guy, I took a special interest in him because, um, everybody else seemed to ignore him more than everyone else. Because he was kind of a jerk. And kind of hard and uncooperative to work with. So, I, um, I made it a point to, um to answer all of his bells and I was just really uh, really really nice to him I was just you couldn't damper my spirit I was persist like persistent persistent in my happiness in dealing with him and being nice to him and um, 
he kind of took advantage of that a little bit by being like sometimes he'd just get extra ornery with me and uh one time i just said hey george like wh why did you say that why are you doing that like that hurts my feelings or oh that makes me sad that was mean and once i showed him that like it hurt my feelings or made me sad oh my gosh the just the instant that i did that he kind of he drew back and he felt really ashamed of himself and he, he goes oh i'm sorry so he had a little bit of dementia but not a lot of it and i tried my best to get him to eat by offering him different things on different days and i saw him for quite a while every day monday through friday um sometimes the only thing i could get him to eat was ice cream Anyway, I saw him on Friday, on a day where he wasn't willing to eat anything. I'd try and bring him multiple stuff and he wouldn't eat it. And I finally brought him orange ice cream. Uh... Aw, <laughs> thank you, madman. Thank you, guy. I brought him some orange cream ice cream, because it was the only thing that he would eat that day. And, um... I was really worried about him. Anyways... Um... On that Friday, I was ready to leave, and I said goodbye to him. I said, goodbye, I'll, I'll see you on Monday. And uh, when I came back on Monday, he was gone. He was gone. He died. He died because he pretty much died of malnutrition. And I was so angry. I was so angry, you guys. Because in those types of situations, when they should have been tracking his vitals they should have been tracking his nutrition they should have been tracking everything he shouldn't have died in there they should have called the hospital they should have taken him to the hospital so that he can get intravenous fluids like I don't know I was pretty disgusted I was the only one trying to keep that guy he stopped eating because he had given up and he was very depressed and he was still underneath it all you know a decent guy and, uh, I just thought that the system failed him. Like, maybe if people cared more about him, I did get him to eat. But I, because I'm the only one who tried. So, anyway, after that, um, I kept on in the medical field for a while, and I saw a lot of the same thing. I saw a lot of horrible, disgusting treatment of patients who couldn't take care of themselves or couldn't think properly and I could tell what they needed but I was only just one person and I started getting afraid that I would become one of those those healthcare providers that would just ignore their patient in the ER for like an hour don't check on them not see if they need to use the bathroom not give them some water not see if they're cold because it's goddamn freezing in every single er on, on the planet and not bring them a, a warm blanket not check if they're hungry because they waited for four hours in the waiting room and now they've been sitting in a in a er bed for two hours waiting for the doctor to even just show up at their bedside and i hated it i really hated it so uh, that's why I left the healthcare field, is because it was just awful. And I wish I hadn't known any of that. I wish I didn't have to see the curtain be drawn away and see the ugly backside. It was like, it was like Hollywood, you know? They try to make you think that everything's great when you, in healthcare, doctors care about you and nurses care about you and you'll be treated well and they, that they keep their hospitals nice and clean or their doctor's offices nice and clean and, well, not all of them do. And this lady, Zoe, who was right here a second ago saying, we're going to keep this place spotless in case we get a checkup by the boss. Yeah, right. No, that's not how it is either. So... Anyway, that's my story. That's my story about um, convalescent homes, assisted living, and it, it's sad. But I think we're going to try for Dorothy next. Let's go see Dorothy next. That uh, was a horrible okay. segue back into the game, Let's sorry. <laughs> that was a very long tangent. Uh-oh. No! Game! Game crashed. What the hell? No! Why? Why? My
My game crashed, guys. Shoot. Okay, well, I guess this is probably the appropriate time to uh, end the stream anyway, because uh, that'll that'll be the ending of the video as well. So, um, I'm probably going to switch off between Lorelei and uh, Rule of Rose for the next couple weeks until one of them is finished, and then I'll just finish off the other one too. I'm really, really, really liking Lorelei, so I imagine the next one, which is going to be probably Thursday, will be of Lorelei as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it and you're enjoying the game. Uh, tell me like your thoughts and how you feel about it. Um, if any of this resonates with you like it kind of does with me. And I'd love to hear your guys' stories too. Uh, th I'll probably post this up straight away so that it'll be up tonight. That way, um, anybody who wants to join us for the next stream will, will be there. But by all means, leave some comments on the videos that I can read about your, uh, your reactions emotionally or your, just your thoughts on things. So, uh, everybody, have a good night. I will see you next time. And as always, thank you very much for joining me. It was lots of fun.